All right, guys, we are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. This is the end of the week, guys, and let's dive right in because this is a big week. So if you guys have been sleeping under a rock, I say this a lot, and you're not familiar, let me get you up to speed of what's going on. At the beginning of the year, I'm starting with this, I'm going to end with this. At the beginning of the year, January 1st, 2023, Alex started with a 35K account challenge, guys. You have to understand he had a goal on January 1st, not, not when he reached 800,000, not when he reached 900,000, when it was a 35K account, he said, I'm going to take this to a million dollars. I'm going to document it the whole way. And that's the end of the year goal. Guys, he did it. Alex has officially hit a million on this small account challenge. <laughs> I don't know how we don't have a hundred thousand members in MIC learning from us. Guys, we are teaching real mentorship. We are teaching what it means to be a trader. Alex is showing you broker verified guys down the broker level exactly how he did it started with a 35k account challenge took it to a million dollars big sale coming monday guys so sneak preview for you guys monday we're doing a big sale to celebrate this alex is the best of the best in this industry if you guys are not part of mic anybody who's listening that's not a member guys i don't know what you're doing we are proving every single day every single week every single year why mic is so valuable to its members and you guys need to be paying attention to this because alex literally just showcased this year in three months that it is so possible when you know how to navigate the language of price action, the language of stocks, the language of fundamentals, combine that all. And guys, I mean, I, I mean, these are the results. It, it, a million dollar account, a million dollar account starting off as a 35K account in the beginning of the year. Unbelievable. Alex, amazing job, my dear friend. And this is what we teach guys. So I just kind of wanted to start with that, hype it up real quick. How cool is that? Big sale coming Monday, but guys, let's dive right in. So Ironically enough, Alex surpassing a million this week was kind of funny. The first two trades, the first two days this week, guys, so Monday the 20th and then Tuesday the 21st, he had no trades. No trades, waiting patiently for better setups. But let's see what the members were doing on Monday as our members are always killing it. So let's take a look. Dude, this guy's on a tear recently. J Fusion, awesome job. Quick 1800 bucks on Monday. Dude, I love seeing this. Every now and then we post PL guys to show you what the members are doing. Ace, Ace on INM. This is such a beautiful job of waiting for something to top out, hitting the bounce, and then it, you know, obviously, guys, if he hit this again, be right where it fell before. So I'd love if he had another one right here, but that is just a beautiful scalp job. So really good job, Ace. PO on HUBC, guys. Wait for the tank, guys. Wait for the tank. There's your confirmation. Start scaling in. I would say PO on this. Just wait a little bit longer, brother, than chasing. But this was honestly a really good job, a great use of scale, and a great breakdown that he covered into. It's a real, I, I would give it a solid B. Plus, but I'd give it an A minus if he was starting in here and then scaling here or maybe an A. Plus. That's a great job. Math. Dude, what needs to be said about this guy? I'm putting him on the radar lately. I'm shining the spotlight on him. This is one of our members, guys. Green, green, green. He's in the disciplinary workshop. He's back testing. He's tracking his trades every single day for months, if not years. Worked with Steven, worked with the mods. Guys, this is the power of MIC. Solid green months so far on Monday. I love what Fabian did right here. HUBC again, slow day. Traded first VWAP test and then first high a day test, as Harry Haas says. Guys, you must be watching my webinars too. Wait for the tank out the gate. This is right in my PDF. Short the pops after the death candle. Cover the wash. And then if you do play again, if you do, where did it fail before, guys? It failed right here. So you want to be right there with the scales. Fabian, this is in a freaking picture perfect trade, my friend. Awesome, awesome job. And I've seen you in all my webinars recently. So great job, buddy. Um, not like I'm going to take credit or anything, you know, but whatever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I am the sole responsible reason for Fabio's success. <laughs> I don't have that big of an ego. I'm sure he's watching some webinars, getting some clues, but this kid's killing it himself. So awesome job. Hopefully I can add some value to your already good trading style, buddy. So we're on Tuesday, guys, and Alex was around $987,000, as we had talked about on the MIC stories. So, you know, he didn't come out of the box swinging on Monday or Tuesday, but he came out of the box swinging on Wednesday, bringing 987 plus 12, making him like, I think it was like $600 from eyes guys here. Let me actually read this for you real quick. So check this out. 
12.3K after two days of painfully slow action, the market picked up today. I was focused on GME, GameStop, short after the morning rush, but unfortunately could not get an entry on which really annoyed me. Stayed calm, shifted my focus to shorting CDNA. We're actually gonna bring that up. So let me just kind of pull that up in a second. See, so I can remind myself, we'll pull up CVNA. Uh, after 10 topped out, then also caught some small scalps on Jan and ETNB. Hopefully this type of action continues. So guys, Alice came swinging out the gate on Wednesday, 12,300, unbelievable job, which put him $600 away from the 1 million mark, guys, it was $600. So, and, and I kind of think it's kind of funny how he eked out 1,800 the next day. I think between you and me, Alex would have to confirm, but I, I bet he he was like, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up. Don't like, all I need is 600 bucks. So he, uh, he did that on Thursday. But let's go through some trades, guys. That's Alex freaking monster, dude. Freaking monster. And then he ended the week with a 1100. So I know he was like, let me keep this status of that million. I know it, baby. <laughs> Guys, the thing about trading is it's so psychological. Alex just hit that milestone. It would be terrible if like the next day he's like, ah, negative 10,000 things back under. So it's always good to protect your mental capital, your actual capital, or maybe that's just the, the only opportunity that afforded Alex on Thursday and Friday. But um, nevertheless, I'm sure there was some type of mental element baked in there and uh, just an awesome job from Alex. All right, guys, the 22nd. So that is Carvana right there. Give me one sec. Let me pull this up for you. 20 day chart so we're gonna zoom in here and you know this thing was running a little bit the day before but guys this is pretty much the day one so we're on day one Alex started slamming it right 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 in the open getting in here covering all the way down into this wash just beautiful beautiful job I mean it doesn't get much better than that you know this thing is opening far from highs it's got a lot of volatility it's definitely definitely not that strong by the open so when it pushes in a resistance resistance and then if you wanted to scale up to another resistance it was all within these levels right here from 1015 to you know 1063 that was pretty much the meat of the move um capturing any of this and then covering into that nice decline was oh man it's just so beautiful this is this is what the ESPN highlight rule is made for, man. I'm telling you. ETNB on the 22nd. So that's right here. Again, guys, we have something that's just kind of weird pre-market. Gets back up there. It actually tops out entirely. And Alex did a really, really, really good job of capturing in here. And uh, right there in the opening, you know, open, cover the wash right, you know, near VWAP, guys. Beautiful job. Not, not much more needs to be said about that. Um, I'm going to go into Jan real quick. And the reason why I brought this up is I loved, loved, loved what Alex did for this kind of infographic for you, so to speak. So pre-market it's it, i'll pull it up here as well so you guys can get actually like dual view give me one sec jan let's pull it up here too on the 22nd which is right here sometimes it's kind of hard to tell so guys you know we have pre-market we have two major tops set up and let me zoom in for the open and then again what do we always say guys what, what do i say every single webinar where are the tops that's definitely a top this is a top so when you get in the open, guys, where do you think you're going to be scaling? You're going to be scaling in here, upwards of here, hitting these resistance points if it makes a long journey back up to that, up to that area. And the reason why this one didn't qualify for what's co what we call, again, the, mi the million dollar setup is because right here, a lot of people would think to short, but guess what? What's the number one thing I say that negates the million dollar setup? It's not up enough pre-market. So if it's only up, 130 to 170 you can't be hitting it VWAP even though it is under VWAP you need this to be really you need this to have a lot of meat you need this to have volatility so if you're not playing the million dollar setup right there guys that's the second best shot right there you need outer 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 line so Alex did exactly that every single thing that we do guys I teach in all the free webinars weekly every single Wednesday 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're not a member look in if you are a member you guys already know covered on the wash beautiful job Alex and it's just as sexy as possible man that that's just a beauty of a day 12,300 bringing the account to $600 until a million so that's where we're at currently for the week let's uh let's again let's see what the members are doing on Wednesday probably while I was giving a freaking webinar. Uh, guys, Hooper X on NIO, just beautiful, man. This thing was up, up, up. It finally had a sentiment change. He captured that red to green move. Awesome job. Irvin, Irvin, I love this. Right there, man, right there on Jan, following exactly process. Where to fail before? Bing, bing, 
Bing, bing. <laughs> like, I keep using these bing, bings, man. Is that? It sounds annoying to me. It's probably annoying to you guys. ETMB, guys. Again, where the stock fell before, man. That's the resistance point. Really, really good job. God, you guys are you guys are just killers, man, of price action. Math, again, nether green day. Keeping an all green month. I love to see it. Um, again, LMAT, look at, guys, we create a watch list every single morning. We have live commentary. We steer you in the right direction every single day. We make sure you're paying attention to the right stuff. And this is why all the members charts look the same. They're very detailed. They're very curated. They're regimented. They're following process. They're following plan. And again, all beauty. It's just beautiful, man. J Fusion, 1400 bucks. Love it. This guy's this guy's doing really well, man, especially on his PL curve specifically. Now that I have a little bit more time, let's actually talk about these from the watch list on Thursday. So coming in, guys, this was the day yesterday, Thursday, the 23rd. Alex officially, March 23rd of 2023, turned a 35K account into $1 million plus dollars. 1.8K. Today started off slow, but actually turned into a solid day. CVNA, again, perfect short from the watch list at 9.30, as per usual. CVSA, great short and resistance after it topped out. And then Coinbase, which is uh, ticker symbol COIN, uh, which was a crazy debacle. The SEC is looking into them, guys. I would never recommend for like a long-term, you know, a long-term investing. But as a day trade, you know, as far as that goes, I'll pull up the chart and you guys can see. Um, Alex said, break even trade. I lost patience, but it was up, bringing Alex to 18 on the day. The first thing we're going to do is bring up CVNA, and I'm actually going to read the watch list to you now that I have a little bit more time. Uh, I just wanted to really harp on what happened Wednesday, guys. That is so sick. Uh, I do believe, yeah, 23rd, 23rd, Thursday, 23rd. So, all right, guys, that's uh, right here. Sometimes I have to check the date and be like, where was that again? Um, I, but then again, I just kind of forget it's yesterday. So if I like literally just go, that's, you know, that's today and that's yesterday. So sometimes you have a little bit of a brain fart, but check this out guys. So day one of Carvana, day two, Alex hit right into the outer lines, but here's what he was looking for. Looking for a bounce to 930, 950, 975 to 10. Guys, if you look right here, it hit exactly where Alex wanted to start in, got those moves. Uh, covered for a nice scalp, beautiful job, and that was part of that. So again, low hanging fruit, day two or day three, you want to scare, scale those outer lines, guys, and that's the way to really, really, really get far in building confidence, building an account, and just just grooming yourself as a day trader, man. You really, you really got to follow the rules. So I loved what happened here. This thing topped out big in the open. Alex did just that, got in, covered the wash. And I mean, it's a beautiful job. This thing is absolutely declining. The, the sentiment is terrible. And the reason why going back, guys, going back, remember I said the million dollar setup, the reason why I worked at VWAP here, again, VWAP to the next resistance line, but VWAP specifically, and then it stuffed hard really quickly is because there's a lot of volatility on the stock. When there's no volatility, you don't want to hit here. You want those outer lines, which would be here or upwards of here if there wasn't a lot of volatility, but there was, and there was room to come back down, especially this thing was so smoked. So Alex did just that. CVSA, great job. And then um, uh, let's see, Coinbase. SEC investigation. I will look for major bounces. To, actually, sorry. Let me just pull this up real quick. All right. Coinbase, you disgusting turd of a company, but whatever. <laughs> I'm so against Coinbase personally. Not investment advice, guys. I just am extremely against Coinbase and all this crypto bull BS. Uh, but that's just personal opinion. Um, Coinbase, SEC investigation. I'll look for major bounces to short, ideally 67, 68, 69, 70 lines to scale. We'll scale every dollar pretty much wide range. So you got to use less size. You guys know about that. Use your size calculator. This is a non niche trade for most. So what was happening, guys, is you know, when there's a hit piece or there's an SEC investigation or just really bad news or something, sometimes it's hard to know how far they will run. But Alex had a really good, um, you know, just an idea of this. He said it was break even, even though he had really good entries on scale, but he didn't cover this wash. Um, probably was looking for a little bit lower, but you know, break even trade. He was already cushioned, still keeping him over the million dollar mark. So kudos, Alex. Let's pull the members up from Thursday. My mouse is super sensitive, so if you see it kind of flying between a couple people every now and then, it's just the way it goes. Rockmon, Coinbase Trade, he actually long this. So guys, just to show you, we are not just a short bias community. A lot of our traders are longing. Really good job there, Rockmon, on the coin long. I love this as well. This is the opposite. 
this was trend supporter following the watch list doing what Alex was doing and shorting it. So, you know, while Rockmon was long in this, trend, trend supporter and Alex were waiting for, you know, it's a top out, edge and edge. Just the difference is, is patience, guys. Patience in time-based trading. So, Ryan Conley on a CVNA long, beautiful job. Wanted to showcase a couple really good longs. Uh, GBIO short on E, really good job. Little bit, little bit of a chase fee here. Feels like E, that's okay. But I love what he did in the open come right here and um and just smoked it just be careful a little bit of chasing guys especially pre-market um but he got out pretty quick fabian this guy's crushing really really good job love the use of scales coinbase and cvna really good job buddy uh keep doing what you're doing i love seeing you in the webinars and and, you, and you're just you're just crushing it man all right guys coming into today keeping alex over 1.1 million dollar account now or 1.2 i think or maybe even 1.3 um Slow day, woke up late this morning by accident, too late, must have been with his girlfriend last night. Let's not kiss and tell, but it probably that. <laughs> not much moving today, caught a few scalps on DRMA and called it a day before zombie hours. Happy Friday, guys. Uh, 1200 bucks from Alex. Now let's take a look at DMR, DRMA. And the thing that I love about what Alex did today with this, and it was so detailed on the watch list, all the members did the exact same and everybody crushed from the members to the to, from the mentors to the mods to the members guys everybody was smoking drma so you know i love this it's up after or i'm sorry it's up at the end of the day yesterday upwards into after hours tops out pre-market puts an amazing amazing blow off top long journey right back up to outer lines come the open and I mean, it just doesn't get much better than that. So DRMA, not too much in love with this. Would need to bounce to towards 220, 230, 240, maybe to short, but waiting patiently. So you guys have to remember, when Alex is creating the watch list, that might be at the time that he's writing, or sometimes that might be at the time that he's writing, and then we'll update. But guys, got the exact lines Alex wanted, scaled it in short, and uh, had a really, really good, good trade on DRMA. Now let's take a look at what the members were doing, too, for the last day today to wrap up the week um a lot of members getting better a lot of members uh bomb bomb getting way better with entries and process man i love this we've seen this kid come a long way he's still got a lot way to a long ways to go just like any of us but i'm telling you right now man this kid is really really cinching up his process and i love what i'm seeing because he used to have some pretty sloppy charts as self-admitted as he probably would say just like i did seven years ago just like anybody did just like math did and uh, he's cleaning it up and i can see the results and he's he's on his way to uh to real mastery i love it keep it up bomb bomb you're doing a really good job buddy DRMA, I love this, scaled the outer lines as per the watch list. PO, scaled DRMA as per the watch list. And then E, scaled DRMA as per the watch list, guys. You guys, I mean, this is why we put out the watch list for you guys. And then Rupert as well, guys. I mean, when, when all of our members' charts are profitable and looking the same and consistent, you know MIC is doing something right, and that's every single day. Math, another day. DRMA, just waiting for the out... This, is, guys, you wonder why Math, you know, again, Rocksteady, this is a different member all win month, but you wonder why Math and Rocksteady's months look like this. It's because they're patient. They know where to scale. They follow the watch list and they wait for the most sniper entries. And these are the results. So monster shout out to Math for an all green month. Monster shout out to Rocksteady. Um, you guys are you guys are just the epitome of the success story that MIC kind of likes to embellish upon because guys while we are unbelievable unbelievably humble as company owners and MIC creators Alex Bow and myself we are still a little bit very much proud of the success of MIC and what the members are getting as it correlates to the value that we provide so we're extremely humble but we are extremely excited to see all of you guys crushing it weekly and daily and if you guys want to get inside MIC let me show you a couple things so this is our community right here. This is our Slack community. First thing that you're going to notice, guys, is there's a bunch of channels. So every single day we get in the watch list channel. We're seeing what's going on. We really want to make sure that you guys are up to speed of what you should be paying attention to. Obviously, these are the lines, you know, multi seven figure a year trader. Alex Demiz is like, guys, if that's where he's interested, you should probably be interested too. That's the point. Take it in the main trading chat. We've got memes. We've got jokes. We've got business. We've got Phil Steven on DRMA. Beautiful job, buddy. Really good chart. Um, point is... 
This is where we execute together, guys. This is where we warn together. This is where we laugh together. This is where we all bankroll together. This is where the magic happens. So, you know, if you want to get a part of this, you got to join MIC. Bow posting all day, every day. Uh, beautiful job. I love that chart. Um, let's see, you know, large cap and options, guys. If you're not a small cap trader, we got a swing trading room. There's everything in a nutshell down to an after hours channel where you can... Um, you know, again, shout out members, drink with your buddies, trade Eric and James Freelander. I love it. Priming the pump. These guys are about to get drunk as a skunk. If I know these two, they're Hall of Famers, man. Let me tell you, beer for trade Eric and uh, James Freelander on Fireball. These guys are freaking Hall of Famers, dude. They they almost, almost are probably near the same league as Bao, but I don't think anybody's in the same league as Bao, but it's fun to see. So, Guys, past events, post your charts, post your fills. Uh, James Freelander probably getting in trouble with his girlfriend because that's not her. That better be the bartender, <laughs> you scumbag. <laughs> he, that's, a, that's a happy boy with his Jack Daniels fire Tennessee whiskey, man. Let me tell you, these Hall of Famers there. Uh, I'm going to tell your girlfriend, James, what's going on here? Is that the bartender? But the point is, guys, this is how much fun we have. We ship our members shirts. The MAP program only trades. That's great. Um, it's a lot of fun. This is what community looks like, guys. We joke all the time. We laugh together. Uh, if you don't have a camaraderie like this, if you don't have a community of like-minded people, I, I legitimately question why. Like, guys, tell me why. Legitimately, why? Do you want to trade alone? Do you not want somebody looking over your shoulder? Do you not want to laugh all day with people who understand this language? I mean, that's what our community is. So I should kind of say as next is, Guys, if you're looking for community, this look no further. This is the best community on the internet for learning trading. We teach small caps, we teach large caps, we teach options and swing trading on longer time frames if you don't want to kind of be glued to the computer. So guys, text 213-458-5997 at any point of any day. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please don't randomly call. Please actually book a call. But what we're going to do is schedule a time slot so I can talk to anybody looking into the club. And uh, guys, we'll take it from there. We will get you started on, you know, getting confident in MIC then maybe actually pulling the trigger and getting you started on the road to success and mentorship and cutting your learning curve down. We're the three creators, but guys, we have a whole team. We got a whole team. We have tons of people to teach you, so and that's only some of them. So, a couple things. Uh, book a free call. Get the one-hour free training right here, guys. You're definitely going to want to get this so you can, you know, at least get a glimpse into MIC outside of my Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, you know, time webinars. Uh, but if I actually, there's one more thing I want to show you. If we go to the video library, guys, check this out. There's a couple things I want to show you on a content side. So this is a search feature for anything, whether it's like FOMO or First Red Day or the Deathline Short or some of our proprietary trading strategies. But if you scroll down, you're going to see a curriculum. Accelerator course, the way to start. Getting started in the curriculum is next. These are very important videos. Then phase study guide, which are really, really refined videos of the best of the best and why you can understand anything from sizing to, you know, uh, risk management to sniper entries to, to literally anything, guys. It's like, I mean, this is the Google of day trading, you know, like type in anything. You'll find it within MIC. The last thing I want to mention is Alex's live trades right here, guys. So check this out. This is a trade series that is exclusive to Lifetime only. This is the one thing that is really exclusive to Lifetime, and it is well worth it. So if you guys want to upgrade or maybe catch a promotion on Monday, we got a big sale coming on, uh, just DM me or book a call with me or text my line, and we will get you associated. But guys, check this out. This is a live trade series where Alex will record his trades live and then add audio commentary after the fact in post so you guys can get a real clear understanding of what he was doing while he was pulling the trigger live. So really good series, guys. $67,000 example here, 12,000, 11,000, 5,900. What's a death candle? You know, profit on a slow day, uh, profit ATM with the dilution explained, like things like that, you know, a LSTA, a pump and dump stock, reverse split, theme ending. It's really cool and I think it's gonna take you to the next level. Again, everything in MIC is about making you better and all of our resources are targeted towards that and again mentorship in every way whether it's community oriented or one-on-one -on -one and you actually do need to get on a call with one of our mods and say hey james i heard you're a crazy fireball drinker well dude i'm having trouble in my journey can we share a fireball and can you walk me through this process Look, he may not drink with you, but he's definitely going to get on the phone and help you. So, guys, that is the ESPN MIC Highlight Reel. You know we got to close off with tradition. couple things. Where is my fat calculator? 12,300 smackaroos plus 
1800 plus 1100 Alex didn't trade Monday or Tuesday and still cleared a $15,000 a week. And if you include commissions and rebates from Success Trader, which is our broker of choice, I'll bet you it's 16000 So, Alex, you're a phenom. Guys, again, this man turned 35 k into a million dollars. Broker verified. You cannot fake this, guys. This <laughs> You can't make this up. This is real mentorship. This is real education. Nobody on the internet is doing what we're doing. So you guys got to join MIC. You got to book a call. You got to email me. You got to text me. You got to see if this community is for you and if you like our energy and if you like our up-to-date teachings, which are, again, not outdated. They're up-to-date, guys. And the way we teach predicated online, support, process, resistance, and just essentially having a process above anything else versus just one pattern or you know another pattern here. It's full process as a day trader. Everything that we teach has lasted the last 20 years and will last the next 20 and then the next 20 because we teach human psychology and how to benefit off this stupidity or the edge that is present for you where the edge is lacking for the other side so shorts know what to do when longs are in a bind and longs know what to do when shorts are in a bind and we cohesively have this habitat of traders that are as long as you're patient can play both sides of the equation guys but you know you'll find what works for you book a call join mic and guys i will see you next week for an espn mic highlight reel and i love doing these to give you guys value see you guys enjoy your weekend